the rat catcher. It's another one of the the Roald Dahl shorts directed by Wes Anderson, starring Richard Awade, Rupert Friend, and yes, Ray Fiennes. And it's on Netflix with audio description. This was a really interesting experiment that Netflix decided to do. It's also really short, so my review is going to be really, really short. Overly short, because I don't want my review to come anywhere close to the run length of the actual film itself. Um, but uh, it's, it's probably, of the ones I've seen so far, the weirdest. Uh, and that's saying a lot, but uh, especially for Roald Dahl. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what Roald's going for here, but, uh, I, I mean, I liked it. it it's, it's weird in, in a way that I, I'm not sure Wes Anderson was quite prepared for. I feel, <laughs> it doesn't even fully feel like something he would do, and then he was like, ah, I'm gonna make a film about this, and I, I, okay, all right then, um, it feels almost like he could have gone darker and made it more interesting by going darker because this is probably the darkest of of the ones that this is I've got one more to see, so I'm I'm trying not to say of all of them, but uh of the ones I've seen. And uh yeah. it's presented in the same way as the others. So, especially um, with the audio description at the at the top, it kind of just tells you how they're doing it and how they're staging it and that people come in and out and hand them props. And I think that's really interesting because basically it's nonstop dialogue. And to give somebody at least sort of an introductory message at the beginning for the audio description community, I think that's really cool. Um... I I haven't really ever seen that done in any other fashion where somebody's like, listen, this piece is not easy to audio describe. Can we put something at the... Be sure. Really? We can put something at the beginning? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, let's do it! Um, so, kudos to whoever uh, greenlit that decision. So, But uh, this is just a story of a rat catcher. This is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it, it, it may, you, you may find it funny, you may find it disturbing, you may find it, uh, queasoning, you may find it, eh, whatever, but, uh, it's the story of a rat catcher, and, uh, it's got the same amount of talking as all the other films do, so, um, I thought it was, I liked it a little bit better than Poison, it's about on the level of A Wonderful World of Henry Sugar for me. Uh, I think Wes Anderson is doing a good job with these. I think it's interesting that I only thought, I only had heard about one wonderful story of Henry Sugar, and suddenly there's all these other ones, and I'm like, oh my god, why, why was Henry Sugar the only one that everybody was talking about pre, um, than actually dropping on Netflix? But Ratcatcher is it's it's its own thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how people are going to like it. That's a 6.6 on IMDb. I don't think people really like it. I think I like it more than other people, but I'm going to give The Rat Catcher a B. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, I'll review all of them and then give them all out there. So uh, you can follow me on X Threads uh, or Instagram at MacMovieGuy or website MacMovieGuy.com. You can go to the audio description project, adp.acb.org. It'll let you know what is audio description, where you can watch it. And you can go to the adna.org. That's the adna.org. It'll let you know who's, narrate, uh, who's narrating your favorite films and television series. That's it. It's a short film, so I'm out. I'll see you guys on the other side.